Well, welcome to Good Mythical More. Um, we've got some we've got some hidden tattoos from the crew that we're going to investigate. BYMB, that means be your mythical best. Today we ask you to be your mythical best with this challenge, Blood Buddies. Ooh. Become forever bonded with a buddy by going to a local blood donation center. It wasn't what you thought it was, is it? <laughs> Actual blood packs are lame. Giving blood together is cool. Post your donation stickers. Blood packs aren't lame. We had one, but that was at a different time. It was in a different time when there wasn't so many diseases. It was a blood, it was a blood oath. Uh, post your donation stickers with hashtag BYMB and feel free to get as creepy as you want. Let's welcome some mythical crew members in here. David, you can take that over there. Um, we got John, we got Nikki, we got Hillary, and we got Becca. And they may have tattoos. And this is cool because I've always wondered about this and now it's I'm getting to see it up close and personal. There's a type of uh, makeup, like what do you, what kind of foundation do you guys call it? This is just full coverage foundation. Full cover, coverage mount foundation. <clears throat> she said. Very exciting stuff. Um, uh, and this is what they use in the movies to cover up actually, uh, tattoos. Actually, in the movies they use more of like, I think okay, I'm wrong. like an oil based thing, but because we have to wipe it off. Well, this is in the movie. This is, this is Good Mythical Morning. That's why we use something. Yeah, who are we kidding? This is not a movie. <laughs> uh, but you gotta point out this isn't a movie, man. A couple of people might have thought this was a movie. Uh, like a well, really if you watch it all together, laid back movie. It is a movie. And it's it's creating it's like a, a universe that has its own. It's kind of like Pixar. It's probably like, a short like if you put film. all the Pixar movies together, if you put all the the episodes of Good Mythical Morning together, it tells a, a story uh, about what's going to happen to the world and how it's going to end. Let me get this straight. <laughs> um, you're each going to show us a part of your body that supposedly has a tattoo on it that's being covered up by makeup. It's our job, while by looking at it, to tell if there's actually a tattoo under there. But who should go first? Why don't we just go in order here? And yeah. Okay, so, with Becca. Oh, oh. yep, yeah, with John. <laughs> I ha usually I wear a ring to cover this one up. So you're telling me you have a ring with makeup underneath it and then a tattoo under the makeup. That, a my ring, and removing my the ring, ring, ring did not remove the makeup. I was very careful. Why do you wear a ring to cover it up? I, this is a ring finger, so that's where, and I put the tattoo on my ring finger, so it just naturally works out that way. But are you ashamed of the tattoo? I'm not ashamed of it. It's, it's just for, for you to look at. And so for I, us, right? So every night before you go to bed, you go like this? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> It's a secret tattoo. It's I have. Secret secret tattoo. We have secret tattoos, yeah, man. We have tattoos that are just for us Look and our that. wives. Illuminati. You see that? Wow. Have you looked at yours recently? Because I looked at mine yesterday, and I think it's fading a little. Fading. Like I it's dispersing. Say, I thought you were going to say sagging. It's dispersing. <laughs> well, it's right there. Yeah. And it's. I think the ink is kind of. It's not tight anymore. I feel like I need to get it touched up, man. Let's yeah. move. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any tattoo under that finger. I, I think there is. Let, let, let's, let's, let's wipe it down and see what happens. Oh, you got this wipe is it a down? Dr dramatic reveal. Okay. Because I feel like I would have heard about John having a secret ring. It's just for him. Tattoo. He keeps it covered with a with a ring. Okay, here we go. Look at him. There ain't nothing under there. There is nothing under there. <laughs> <laughs> that was right good, though, man. Right off the bat. That was good. Yeah. Thanks, Rhett. Now, Nikki, I know you have tattoos. Yes, but do you know where? All over the place. <laughs> All over the place? Oh, Am I supposed to be looking on your arm? <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to be looking on your arm? I feel like if That is had, not a place I knew you to have a tattoo. If she had one there, she would have one there, because you, that's what you do when you got tattoos. <laughs> or you, you do not, things like that? If you're like a... If you're like a pro wrestler and you're doing some sort of pop up move. Like, like the bushwhackers. That's before that's before you do your signature move or something? What did the bushwhackers do? What was the thing that they did? They did this. Man, they were the best. They were the best. They were the best. Bushwhackers, if you're still alive, you can come bushwhack with us anytime. <laughs> you're invited, guys. There's a tattoo under there. You think so? Yeah. You were right, you were right the first time. You throw a dart at Nikki, you're gonna hit a tattoo. <laughs> That's true. All right. I, have... I, I do throw darts at people. <laughs> yeah. Not. Huh? Yes, oh. there is. And not only is it a tattoo. Is it scratch and sniff? No. <laughs> it's David Bowie. It matches your shirt today. Wow. Oh, wow. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Look at that. <laughs> Don't break a girl's arm, man. <laughs> what if that broke your arm? <laughs> oh, gosh. That would be awkward. But we would continue the game. <laughs> All right. Okay, Hillary. All right. And next. Here we have. Oh, you got a little ankle action? Just throw it up here. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Put your foot up there. Put All your right. foot on it. Okay. Uh, okay. I think there is a tattoo under there. Okay. All right. Give it a good wipe. <laughs> and I think that's your only tattoo. 
Okay, that's fair. Because that's a that's a place that a lot of people start. Like, I'm just gonna start on the ankle, and next thing you know, so, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've seen it a million times. But not with you know, Then you got them on your face, and then you can't get a job. It's like an awkward. That's what happens. It's true. Right. Right. It's yeah. true. Except you can get a job at a tattoo parlor. Do we have coverage of this reveal? This is a dramatic moment. Nope. You got to go back up here for the yoga oh, pose. Oh, okay. You, you retreated spot, yeah. way too so, soon. Thank you. All right. There, oh, All right. Oh, here we that. are. It looks a little painful. Got it. All right. There. Oh, yeah. yeah. There oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there. Okay. Except an ankle. Dang, okay. You know what? You've got a great ankle. No need to, no need to ornate it. Do you have any anyway. tattoos? I have zero. I'm very okay. plain. Zero tattoos? You are not plain. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Becca. <laughs> Hold on, where are we supposed to be looking? Wherever you feel like, right? Right there? <laughs> right in the middle of my, no, my other <laughs> arm. Oh, wow. I feel like I would know that, that you had this. <laughs> yeah. It's a, I mean, it's my upper arm, and I, I don't. I see you. makeup in your whole bicep. What on earth? That looks like a painful place to get a tattoo. Yeah, that was like, enough. I didn't realize that when I got the tattoo on my butt, I'm gonna talk to you. The real fleshy part? I'm gonna talk, you're the only one I know to have tattoos, besides your, my first reaction was, man, that's deep. <laughs> the needle goes deep, dude. Really? I always feel like once I get into it, I just get into this rhythm where I'm like, it's almost like meditative. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And there was a point in which it turned from pain to just slight pleasure. And if you're curious, I mean, the video's out there, Rhett and Link get tattoos. It's when we made a commercial for True Blue Tattoo Parlor in Austin, Austin Texas. Texas. Um, That's a tattoo. I think she's got a tattoo. I've never seen you in a tank top. I wear tank tops all the time, Link. <laughs> okay, then that's not a tattoo, because I would have seen it. No w tattoo. Wipe it off. I don't think there's a tattoo under there, but that would mean that the only tattoo that we revealed, it, it's got, you gotta have one. Just, you know, just. Final You answer? must have just gotten it, yeah. Final answer from you is no tattoo? You got a tattoo under there. Something's happening. Something's uh, coming through. Ooh. I'm gonna need another You got wipe. a firework under there. That makeup job is incredible, y'all. You're gonna rub your bicep off. Here. I can't wipe the thing out of my arm. A fresh one. There we go. Oh, that's real gross looking now. How long have you had that? I got it in July, July 1st. Sorry, I haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very busy, busy Don't year. Don't be busy, it's fine. It's been a very busy year. I mean, you, now in what fairness, is, when you come into a meeting, it's not like this or anything. <laughs> now, what, what is that, and why do you have it? Uh, so this... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, like a dad. Uh, what is that, and why on earth This is like the questions it. you ask to your kids' friends. <laughs> now, what is that, Johnny, and why do you have it? Tell Mr. McLaughlin. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. McLaughlin. No, uh, I got it. I got it in July. Okay, it let's, is. Let's keep yeah, we show can look and tell, at it. Show oh, and God, tell. it's so red now. I had to like scrape my arm. Okay, show and tell time with Becca. Uh, it's uh, it's a pulsar map. So it was originally designed in the late '60s for the Pioneer plaque, and then redone for the Voyager Golden Record. And uh, it's a map of the relative position of the Earth as done to the center of uh, the Milky Way galaxy, if I remember correctly, and then these are all different pulsar stars, and so Carl Sagan was like, let's put this map on the Voyager record, we're gonna send it into space, oh. and if somebody ever gets it in the future, ever gets the golden record, which we've sent out with uh, recordings of songs from Earth and languages and It'll tell people how to get how to, to us. find us. Yeah, it's so a you, way so of understanding So basically you're that hoping that an alien finds your, your bicep. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then yeah. they'll know how to get to Earth. Aliens need to come to, it will get to the sun, but you know, we're nearby. Well, interestingly enough, uh, all the, you know, because every GMM episode put together is a big story, you know, a movie that you can watch, everything has significance. So I'm just gonna give you a little clue there. Uh, now, of course, these two tattoos have no significance to the story whatsoever. It's just a red herring to throw you off. But 17 things that I said during this time have a lot of significance. What?